going to go down to another grave we found here that I was kind of drawn to and uh, see if we can communicate with her with the rods and stuff. She kind of sent me that way. I was over here looking at some other stuff and started walking and the rods kind of went opposite of one another. And I asked if there was a spirit that wanted to communicate with me and I got a yes. So I used a single rod to direct me of where to go and was pulled and directed to this one particular grave over here. So we're going to go check it out and uh, see what we can come up with. I'll show you some views here as we go that way. The grave that I was drawn to we're going to see if I can set up the camera here somewhere and we'll do some more communications. The name is Manalita Guzman, born 1844, died June 21st. Uh, the answers I got, she was killed, so we'll try to get that on tape. here and still want to communicate with me. Okay, very good, thank you. Pulled me to you. Maybe it was so someone would talk to you and tell your story, because it really doesn't say on it. You were telling me that you were killed. Is this true? Okay, yes. Apparently Manolita was killed by someone. And you told me before that the person that killed Was it somebody close to you that you knew? You can push the rods away from one another for a no, or of course, you know how to do yes. So did you know the person that killed you? Was it someone you knew very well? Were you shot? Were you stabbed? Did he strangle you, choke you? Were you hit in the head or somehow hit with the rock or hammer or something like that? You were somehow bludgeoned then. Stranger, that somebody you didn't know. My rod's here a little better situated. Was it a stranger? I'm going to ask you that again. Was it a stranger, somebody you didn't know? Yes. Hmm. That's terrible that somebody did that to you. Were you attacked? you before he killed you. Do you like that people stop by and pay respects to you? That now that they've found where you're at, that they can come by and 
say hello, people like myself. Kinda. Well, I'm glad that you don't mind us stopping by to communicate with you. I appreciate you taking the time that you drew me to you. Did you see me over there and see me communicating with these and ask me to come over here to communicate with you? Yes, I thought so. You were directing me this way and when I walked by you used the rods to point me in that direction. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Thank you. I'm going to wander and continue on, see if there's someone else that I can see. Thank you for taking the time to communicate with me. I wish you well. You have to stay here though. <laughs>